How you doing, YouTube? Matt with Master Pure Reviews. Back with yet another review. George is back. Master Troll Reviews. Master Troll Reviews in the house. Um, he's here doing a little bit of beer reviews. He, I was in the mood to drink some beers. George obliged. Oh, he's always in the mood. So he's back with a vengeance. And today we're going to be doing a little bit of the, uh, the loons. The loons, baby. Got to have those loons up in your piece. Uh, a little bit of Cantillon Creek. Well, I've actually been saving this while, uh, for a while. Um, just haven't had the urge to review it. I know it's something I'm going to want to share with somebody. So, you know, George is the comparable awesomeness beer sharer of history of all time and the universe and all that fun stuff. So I figured I might as well share it with my brother. Anyway, have you ever had this before? Not the creek. Not the creek? So, creek. You're talking about a lambic. You're talking about cherries. You're talking about sour. You're talking about tart. It's not that sweet and bullshit you get in the United States. We'll see what it is. It's a bit aged, which does not suck. So, as far as what it says in the actual bottle itself, it says Cantillon uh, Creek 100% Lambic Bio. Um, let's see. It's a whole bunch of Belgian French shit on the back here. On the bottom, we have because of its complex flavor and acidulity. Eh, say that word. Acidulous. 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 See, that's why he gets paid the big bucks. Acidulous taste. The Creek Cantillon is unique, very thirst-quenching beer. The ingredients come from organic arch ar ar agriculture. Why am I fucking butchering shit tonight? <laughs> um, beer with uh, evolving flavor. Keep and serve at cellar temperature, 12 to 15 degrees Celsius, which I don't know what this is, but this is right at 50 degrees, which is probably, I'm assuming, right about what it, where they want it. In order to fully appreciate the fruity taste of a Creek Cantillon, it's recommended that you drink this with one year after buying it, to be drunk preferably within 10 years after bottling date. 5% alcohol by volume, and it was bottled June 15, 2012, so we're almost four years deep on this sucker, so it should be cash money. Uh, Lee Weiss, it's fucking fantastic. It's fucking Cantillon. It's fucking <laughs> traditional Belgian style. There's no pretension there. It's just... Awesome. So let's see what we got here. Pop this cap. Get a little cork underneath and do the whole cork thing. Let's see what this sucker has to offer. So what's your what's your history with Cantillon? Have you had a bunch of them? Uh, have you not had, had a bunch Rose of them? I've had Rosé de Gambinus, and that's my extent of it. I have not had one in many, many years. Um, the bar I used to go to had them aplenty, so I've had multiple iterations over the years, but it's probably been... Several years at minimum since I've had it, so it's kind of fun diving in that sucker and see what you have. Let's see. I expected a head off this, but it's a sour, so mm, probably not going to stick around all that long. No. You're going to have that nice, it looks like fucking a dumbed down version of strawberry quick as far as the head color goes. Um, it starts off super pillowy and creamy, but then it kind of just dissolves in this crazy rockiness. As you can see, George is kind of dying there. The beer's dying. George actually. Well, technically George is dying because we're all dying. Anyway, um, super rockiness on mine. You can see way deep in the head now. Like I said, kind of like a pinkish hue to the head. And color-wise, what would you call that? Like a... Kind of like almost like a darker pink, kind of. Yeah, it's like a pink, a muddled pink, like a, like almost like if you were to take the word pink and mix it with New England hazy IPA. That's the kind of the vibe I get off. Of. Like, a, oh, like a super hazy pink kind of going on. So, yeah, it's not super vibrant. A lot of your lambics that you get tend to be a bit more vibrant red, but again, you're talking about added sweetening and stuff like that. So let's get a nose on the sucker. Wow, real fresh. Real cherries. I would just say fresh. Even for almost four years, I mean, that scent is just dead on. It's a lot of earthy, like, real, root deal, vegetal cher uh, cherries. It's not like a a kind of, like, a synthetic sweetened cherry. It smells pulpy. It smells sweet, but at the same time, not overly sweet. I'm getting a subtle tartness there, but not that much. A little bit of funkiness, and that's pretty much it. It smells crisp and clean. It almost smells like... Like you're smelling a champagne. Like it's that kind of vibrant -y, um carbonation kind of going on. But yeah, that smells awesome. Definitely. Yeah, I expect it to be a bit more sour, a bit more tart. We're going to dive right in and see what she's got. Cheers. No troll chug tonight. Mm. 
oh yeah, that's super tart in the back. But it's not soured for me. No. No, not at all. Well, in the back, when you let it linger, you start to get a little bit of sourness in there. But it's just super, super tart. Super tart. I thought those cherries were going to be a little bit sweeter. They're very kind of, they're sweet, but they're not super sweet, I guess you would say. I know that's kind of a generic descriptor. I'm getting a taste, but like um, from the front, and it just travels all the way to the back, that, that tartness. Yeah, it's weird. It's like when you first start to swallow it, it's not weird actually. It like coats the whole outside of your mouth, but then like down the middle of your tongue, that's where I'm getting like a lot of like the other flavors, like the peripherals of my mouth. I'm getting like um, all that tartness, but I'm getting this core center part of the beer, if that makes any sense. That's the fruitiness in there. Yeah, that's just awesome. Yeah, I mean, this is so approachable. Get a little bit of schmeg in yours. A little schmeg in mine. See how that changes it up. Don't be afraid of that funk, baby. That's where they keep the heroin. I don't know, me and heroin. That added a little bit more creaminess to it. Oh, yeah. Almost like a jamminess. And makes it stay a little bit better for me. Yeah. No, this is, um, it's delicious. Um, how time is treated, I don't know. Like I said, it's been years and years and years of it since I've actually had one. Combine that with, I don't remember which ones I've had. I know I've had a bunch, but to base it off of this being, you know, whatever it is, four years old, it's just a delicious beer is what it is. And a damn good beer. Now, you were t saying you had the, um, which one? Rosé de Gambinus. Yeah. How is this compared to that one? I like this one a little bit more. It had a lot more... Uh, it, mine, the flavor might have fallen off just a little bit. Okay. But this one is just awesome. I might have to troll review one. There you go. Um, so let's talk about this. All, look at You can actually see just super funky. All the stuff just left. sitting there. You're probably not going to be able to see it. I'm getting a little like pile on mine. Dark, but... dark, darkness. Anyway, darkness let's just skip to the end. Like I said... Um, really nice, mature cherries, really jammy uh, in a way, uh, not synthetically sweet. Super beautiful popping tartness, just getting the sour but not being overly um, abrasive or acidic. And uh, let's just talk about it. It's one of the better lambic or lambic, as uh, Michael Jackson would say. Everybody else says I just like saying Lambic because I'm an American. I don't want to sound like a douchebag. Anyway, uh, is it one of the better Lambics I've had? I was like, yes. It, it's it's just, it gives me the correct amount of everything I want from the beer. I don't want it to be sweet, but I want a little bit of sweetness there. I want that tartness to be there. I don't want it to be overly acidic. I don't want to get in the apple cider categories to where I kind of get heartburn. I'm going to die and keel over and shit. <laughs> and just be super... Impactful yet rounded around the edges because it has bursting flavor, but at the same time it's not jagged. It's it's very approachable in a in a way if you enjoy these kind of beers. Let's put it that way. If you gave this to somebody who's like, I like Miller Lite. Here, drink this. They'd be like, Why did you give me poison? You know what I mean? It's it's not going to be that thing where you give somebody, but um, that's never had beers like this. But if you give it to somebody that's had, you know, sours and things like that, I think it's something that would just blow their doors off. What do you think? Easily. Yeah. Two thumbs up. Um, so there you go. Another review in the books. Actually, let's skip back a bit. Uh, value and availability. It's can't own. It sucks. Can't get it. Although in my area, you actually can't get it if you are nice. Um, value and availability. I actually picked this up, like I said, about a year or so ago for 20 bucks for this bottle. That doesn't suck, actually, because most no. people rape you on can't own. So thank you very much for those who procured or gave me the bottles or sold me the bottles at a non rapey price. Um... I'm going to say this. If you like what, will you like this? If you like fruit, if you like sour beers, if you like wine, if you like... Um, cherries. Cherries. If you like just... Um, if you like... this To me, this is a beer that I would want to eat before and after a meal. Not necessarily something I'm going to eat during a meal, depending on the food that's served, actually. But this is almost like the dessert beer before an actual dessert happens for me. And this is like, if you're a foodie, if you're into beer, if you're into food, this is something that you definitely uh, would uh, be into because it, it's kind of like next level shit, I guess you would say. So that's a technical term. Anyway. 
<laughs> Hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. If you did or you didn't, or somewhere in between, please leave a comment in the comment section below and like, subscribe, and all that fun, fun stuff. Uh, if you want to check us out anywhere else on the internet, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Untapped, Massive Beers, and all uh, the four places for me. How about you, Georgie boy? I show up on your videos every now yeah. and then. So you can check out Massive Beer Reviews, but slash Massive Troll Reviews for George on his uh, Hattie Topplers and and um, chugathons and Cabibuses. stuff and cabibuses and uh, morning bells and stuff and uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the review hopefully enjoying a beautiful lambic right now and hopefully see you next time cheers <laughs>